officials arrested an Odessa man in El Paso this week for brutal child abuse. He's accused of beating his one-year-old daughter, then super gluing her eyes and her mouth shut. So how do emergency room doctors handle this kind of abuse? CBS 7 Shane's ba Shane Battis talked to one to find out. Police responded to a disturbance call more than a week ago where they found a one-year-old child who had been beaten and choked. Her eyes and mouth were shut and sealed with super glue. Johnny Carter, the child's father, fled to I-20 before his vehicle got stuck and he escaped police on foot. He was arrested Monday in El Paso. While the thought of a glued mouth and eyes is strange and frightening, Dr. Suda Bose says doctors can deal with it fairly easily. He explained that adhesives like super glue can soon be removed with petroleum gel. So we've had situations where even eyes are glued shut or the mouth is glued shut and if you put this ointment on it'll eventually dissolve the glue. He says it's important for doctors to stay focused on immediate threats like breathing and circulation problems when they encounter strange cases like a glued mouth. You can't get distracted by outliers and you really have to focus on the airway, the breathing, the circulation and do things in almost a cookbook protocol manner so that critical injuries don't get missed. Carter is being charged for injury to a child, a first degree felony. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Straight back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Odessa, Texas, that is. For those of you who know what Odessa is, yeah, it's a small little town, but they know when to get down. Anyway, a strange, crazy ass story coming out of Texas. In Texas, what's been up with us being in the news lately? I mean, damn, I can't be biased. I have to, I have to say it. Just like we put Florida on blast. You know what they say about Florida. Georgia, Baltimore, every damn way else. Big shout out to you all. But yet and still, you know, it had to be an equal opportunity thing. So I can't just not let the news go by in Texas without reporting that. For my people that are like, Trey, man, you, you down bad. You from Texas too and you up here putting us on blast. So I'm not putting you on blast because if you're not the one doing these type of things, these dastardly deeds they call them, you don't have anything to worry about. But anyway, we have a father who decides the best thing to do to a one-year-old child that wouldn't stop crying not pamper the child, not pick the child up like a lot of us good dads would do, pick up the baby and rock it, kiss the baby and just smile, you know, and, and not go try to get some toys for the child, see if the child was hungry or need changes. No, this dad decides that he's going to hit the child, beat the child up like the child is a grown ass man or like he's Floor Mayweather getting ready to whoop Adrian Brown, Bone or Brown, whatever his damn name is. In December, you feel me? Because they gonna fight. So I guess he thought that he was made when the child was brown and that he was gonna give us an early bow. So this guy not only beat this child, hit this child in the head in the rear barrier, but also went a step further to do the unthinkable. And I'm not talking about getting married to somebody outside your race. No, he decided the best thing to do to shut the baby up. I guess he believed in the true theory of hear no evil and see no evil. He decides to tape his daughter eyes shut. Yes, with super glue in her mouth shut. And if you ever had super glue even on your hands or on some hair on your body, and trust me, it does not feel good. So it's going to be hell getting that super glue off them eye eyelashes. I feel sorry for that poor child. And the mom was right there the whole time. And you mean to tell me, mama, you did not pick up something and knock the hell out this guy? It would have been me and my child now would have whooped ass. You ain't going to just sit up here and beat my child up and I'm not going to jump on your ass and hit you across your head with something. Best believe me and my baby don't get up and handle our business. I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to get my opinion. Surely as we go. Insane in a membrane. Big shout out to Cypress Hill. Insane father tortured his own baby with crazy glue, super glue, gorilla glue, whatever you want to call it. Just glue that sticks. When she wouldn't stop crying. And we know one thing about children. Some grown folks do it right now. Some of you all crying right now. Just listen to the story or cry last night over somebody that didn't come home. Children cry, especially at one year old. You don't know what the hell be wrong with them. You just cater to them, cater to them, cater to them, cater to them, cater to them. You never know. But one thing about it, you still have love and respect, especially, you know, especially for any child, but more especially also if it's your child. It's, it, it, it's wrong to do that to anybody else's child, but how would you do that to your own child? It goes to show you some people should not have children and they going to pass some sterilization laws in the near future. You just get ready for it. You ever seen that movie? Uh, children of men, you gonna you gonna see that happening in the future where you it won't be too many people getting pregnant or having babies in the future because they gonna stop a whole lot of this shit. Now it was a cruel and sickening act by the man who was supposed to protect her. A father super gluing his baby's eyes and mouth shut. 
You mean to tell me that's the best thing that you could do, that you could think of as a parent? You can watch YouTube. You can watch damn uh, read magazines or whatever. Go on uh, satellite TV cable, uh, Fire Stick, and, and, and watch tips on parenting. You can watch other people raise their children. I'm sure you have a mama or dad. You could talk to them about parenting. You don't parent a child by super gluing their eyes and mouth shut. Only a devil would do that right there to their children because no decent father, number one, would even hit their child, beat their child like that, and then also super glue that child. I wouldn't give a damn if my child was 30 years old. I still wouldn't do my child like that, period, point blank. That's a sad situation right there. And it goes to show you how devilish and how evil some of these people is. And what makes it so bad? Now, he did all this, but the moment he got through, he fled and ran. Now, they found his crazy ass hiding in El Paso, Texas. I don't know what the hell made him go to El Paso. You should have went down a raw ass Mexico. You should should have went down a Guadalajara, if you will. You should have went down there. And you wouldn't have to go to no damn El Paso. The point is you shouldn't have done it. But I don't know what the hell persuaded him to go to El Paso. Out of all damn places, all them damn police and border patrol in El Paso, you want to take your ass to El Paso. You need to be caught. But at the same time, this is what being dirty gets you. Now, Johnny Lee Carter, 29 years old, sound like somebody that'll put their hands on your child and look every bit. Yes, he does. Look every bit of 45 in the face. Look every bit of 45 in the face. That's a hard, fat, chubby 29. Got some little old fat jaw. I bet he was an old fat baby. Has been arrested after allegedly abusing his one-year-old child. A one-year-old child. And this coward-ass fool going to run. But guess what? You didn't beat them police when they came and snatched your ass out that damn uh, place that you was at. You didn't put your hands on none of them. And that's sad. These guys be willing to kill each other. And I'm not saying go after and target police. But one thing about it, go after somebody that's going to meet you with the same force, if not greater force. It's going to be greater force unless you got a whole team. And I doubt that. Because anybody riding with a fool like this and riding me having his back, having his side, huh, you 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 going to get your issue too. But why not take it out on another grown man that's going to fight you back? Why not take it out on the police because that's, that's what it's going to lead to. But now you will surrender to them, but you will surrender to your own daughter who's one year old or crying and just humble yourself and nurture your child. I wouldn't give a damn if you snapped or not. How are you going to snap when it's a child? Did you snap when you was making a child? I don't want to just stand this, this selected snap. And did you snap when you was uh having sex? No, you didn't snap. And if anything, now cops rushed to a hotel room in Odessa, Texas, where they found two children, a defenseless two-month-old baby buried under pillows, two-month-old baby buried under pillows and blankets, along with a one-year-old girl having them back to back, back to the back, back to the back. But Carter was nowhere to be found, the news reports. Authorities later captured his stupid ass in Texas, in, uh, in El Paso, Texas. He was caught Monday in El Paso on a felony charge of injury to a child and causing seriously bodily injury according to the Odessa Police Department. And one thing about the great state of Texas, the Lone Star State, they do not play with you messing with children. It's just like Florida, but Texas works. I'm telling you, you don't want to get caught messing with no damn child in Texas, whether it's uh, whether whether it's that child sex predator stuff or whether it's uh, hurting a child and especially killing them. You go into the damn uh, uh, gas chamber, if anything, a lethal injection, you kill a damn child in Texas. But to beat one up, Oh, you're going to be one step in almost there. And the guys that's in the prison and hunts, wherever they're going to send them, you'll get your issue there. Because one thing the guys in the joint do not tolerate and they do not take lightly to is a person beating up a damn child. You got some guys in there that will put something on your ass as soon as you walk through the gate. Because it's strange. They already know what you're charged for as soon as you walk in. It's like, damn, they got a damn secretary or somebody that just correlates and responds to them. Okay, we got such and so coming. He's wanted, he's wanted for... uh child molestation oh we got such and such coming he's wanted for beating his one-year-old daughter up and both of them get their issue now after a phone call was made to 911 concerning a domestic incident on september the 16th carter has uh, absconded i mean he fled he left now details of the horrific incident have been released in court documents carter allegedly choked and punched this little girl before applying super glue to her face super glue now what, what clicked in your mind to even punch a child then super glue? I guess you just wanted to make that, that child shake the hell up regardless. Now, the child's mom was an eyewitness to the terrible torture that occurred in a motel room. And she she ain't like a lot of other moms. A lot of other moms would have got up there and scratched the shit out you, bit you all on your neck, on the bottom of your arms, all on the bottom of your feet, hit you with anything they could find, lamp stands, uh, TV stands, them, them, you know, them damn irons they be having in rooms. 
irons or anything they can get their hand on, but they ain't gonna let you beat their child up. Now, she claims her partner snapped after his daughter would not stop crying. Would not stop crying. What got dog on? The child been one year old, so the child ain't just started crying that day. I'm sure the child ain't just waited till one years old and just started to start crying that day. The child was crying just like any other child would do up until that damn day. So why you not do it before then? That's what I don't understand. Now, police found crazy glue in a motel room where the family was staying. Carter's two-month-old child was buried under blankets and pillows. The two-month-old could have suffocated. What the hell is going on in this situation right here? Why is the damn two-month-old child buried under blankets and pillows? Damn. The mother of the children also told investigators that the Carter that Carter beat the infant on her head and ribs with his fist, according to an arrest affidavit obtained by the Dallas Morning News. And you mean to tell me you did not get up? I don't give a damn how scared you were. A lot of y'all may say, well, she was terrified. She was scared. Okay, but guess what? When you get scared and you get fearful, you get 10 times stronger. You get stabbed a shot. You won't even feel it. It's a such thing called, thank you, somebody said it right there, adrenaline. Yes, you get that adrenaline rush like my boy Twister used to rap. You get that adrenaline rush, hell, you turn to the incredible whole ready just oh, on their ass. That's what she should have done. She should have just picked up the whole mattress, anything, and laid his ass out. This is at one point that you should go all the way and don't have step with it. Just clean, knock the hell out of him. You feel me? Just, just, just clear his whole head off his body if you can. It would be nice. All right. Now, the Dallas newspaper has found evidence that Carter has previously served time in prison for guess what? Somebody said it again. You're very smart. Domestic violence. These guys love putting their hands on women and i don't understand but they go to jail and prison they be soft as a soft as a kitten you know what i'm saying soft as a new pair of a silk pajama or or soft as a baby at the bottom a newborn baby you know how the baby skin be so smooth and supple when they just come out the womb and stuff and then you just rub them and stuff feel on them which you don't supposed to soft just like that but out here they gorillas they kill us and they ready to whoop any woman ass now, he was sent to jail after violating a protective order, so he don't give a damn about no restraining order or anything. He's basically what you call 5150 without my boy Corey Holcomb, and big shout out to him, Enzo. So let me know what you all think about this situation, because it's sad that you have a dad who's supposed to be the protector for these children up here beating a one-year-old like the one-year-old is like his, a grown-ass woman, and even then, you still shouldn't beat nobody like that, man nor woman, unless... Your life is threatened unless that person threatened your life. And I doubt very seriously that this child was threatening your life. I doubt very seriously that this child said, I'm going to shoot you and had a gun inside of her pamper. No, it was no need to go that far. But some people shouldn't have children. And these stories are plain to see. You know what I'm saying? It's not about hate. It's not about putting nobody down. It's about uplifting people. It's about warning people and letting people know. Because sometimes people just need to hear somebody else say it before they react on it. You know, so... That's the purpose of videos like this. And because I have a special place in my heart for children and for people. And also, now I hate to see people do other people wrong, but especially grown ass men messing with women and messing with children, people who can't defend themselves. Put your hands on somebody who will put something on your ass. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's just the way I feel. And you should feel the same way. And especially the men. I'm talking to the men right now. I don't expect the women, even though I know a lot of you all will get down. You're about that life. You're about it, about it. But to real men. I know y'all feel me because one thing that real men, at least how I was taught, my daddy taught me, was that you respect women. You respect the children. You respect the children. You protect the women and the children, the old people, the people who can't help themselves, what we call the defenseless ones. Some grown ass man, this guy like a, a pretty big sized man. What you look like beating on a one year old child and that's your child? It wouldn't matter if it was somebody else's child, but it's another thing to do it to your own child. And if I was this, if I was this, um, uh, this this mom of these kids, he would not see my children no more. And I know y'all saying, well, it's his kids too, and that goes to show that you might be one of the ones that would do some shit like this or agree with it. But if he do a child like that, damn it, could he could have killed this child? Then what? We still gonna make an excuse up and say, well, that's still his child. We know biologically that's his child, but not in his heart and soul and mind. That's not his child because if it was. There's no way he could have did this. He could even conceive it. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video. And also, also, do not let nobody put their hands on you or your children. Point blank. And if you do, and if you do, you deserve everything that they get. Also, if you sit back knowing what's going on and you don't do nothing about it, you deserve everything they get. Till next time, y'all stay blessed, stay woke, stay vigilant, and take care of your home. Period. And men. The real man, y'all stand up for what's right. Protect your home. Protect your wife, your kids, your girlfriend, whatever the hell. 
Who, who cares? Your boyfriend, who cares? The point is, treat people right. I'm out.